Okay. Now, I'm so looking forward to this conversation. Nina Hersher, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, Matthew. How are you? Good. Thank you so much for being on the show. So, you are involved in, well, what, what's your organization? So, I run the Digital Wellness Collective. Um, yes. And we are a trade collective of experts, organizations, researchers across the globe okay. who are focusing on technology addiction and technology wellness a little bit more holistically. So it's this incredible group of people. We have, you know, our largest hubs of professionals right now are New York, Toronto, London, and California. And we have folks working on everything from how technology influences intimacy to texting and driving to tech and productivity. These are some really, really interesting areas to explore as we look at how we can use tech to support us versus exhaust us. I felt awful right there while I was, we were t you know, you were talking, I have my cell phone in my hand. There's no reason to have my cell phone in my hand at that <laughs> moment. <laughs> okay, so I, I want to know, I, and we're going to talk about an event that's going on tomorrow, but but I want to know about why. Like, um, we talked about it, you're, you're an intelligent person, you, there's so many different routes you could have taken. Why this? Why is it so important? So my journey with this was highly personal, and I think that everybody who really enters this field has a unique kind of trigger or something that really brought them into it. Mm -hmm. And so for me, growing up, I had a really, really hard time talking, and I was an only child. And so kind of between those two things, when I was having a hard time talking, eye contact was how I let people know I was trying to, you know, be in in touch with them and I was around a lot of adults as an only child so I really watched people and I remember being about 10 years old approaching my mom and saying mom something really weird is happening I'm trying to talk to people and they don't even know because they're texting and Matthew I was I was horrified but I was also kind of like captivated I was like what's going on like what is this shift in presence yeah and that was really the first time that I you know being younger, I identified that something was changing. Something was changing that affected the way that we connected to one another. And it wasn't necessarily bad, but it was different. different yeah. And so that was kind of the beginning of my journey and identifying something that I wanted to look into a little bit more deeply. Oh my goodness, that's so, yeah, that's interesting. So how do, what are we doing wrong right now? What do you think we're doing wrong and how do you think we can make it right? <laughs> <laughs> that's a big that's a big, big question yeah big question so what I will say is that the collective and the companies in the collective as a whole are very healthy tech versus anti-tech in their approach mm -hmm. we're very empowerment oriented um, so it's not like no tech no that's yeah not at absolutely all. we we believe that technology was created to support us but it's up to us to model our behavior with it and so that's really what we focus on both with consumers and the kind of tech companies and corporate clients that we work with. So you can, you can view it as a little bit more of a reformist approach. Mm. Um, because I think that technology is this like an absolutely incredible creation and there's been so much of it so quickly that it can be a little overwhelming. Once we're in it, it can be hard to zoom out and see, okay, like, do I feel good about being, you know, online all the time? Or like, is it causing me anxiety every person's experience with it is highly different that's true and I, I i i that's why i am looking forward to this workshop tomorrow because i do feel you know it's it's such a relief when you step away from it for a while and you know i do not want to get rid of my phone i do not want to get rid of my computer you know it's i, I there's so many benefits and great things but there's a time and place for everything yeah, and so you, we have this workshop that you're going to be conducting tomorrow. Um, it's going to be at Next Space. Um, information is at santacruzworks.org. Um, can you tell us a little bit about this workshop? Yeah, so this is a workshop we're really excited to be holding. Uh, David Klein is one of my friends who I work very closely with, okay. and he'll be running this workshop with me. He also holds camps for youth. Who really want to get offline, want to you know continue being athletic, but we weave in these concepts throughout camp and do a lot of 
reflection activities, you know, around, hey, how does it feel to be offline? Like, do yeah. you feel more anxious? Do you feel less anxious? Sometimes it comes in waves. But for the workshop tomorrow, we're going to be focusing more on the professional. And so we're going to be looking at how can you be a change agent for yourself at work, at home? What does it look like to really examine productivity and self-care? So this idea of when you are plugged in, are you being the most productive you can be for work? And when you're taking a break, is that break effectively recharging you? How do you feel after it? Do you feel like maybe you didn't actually take a break and you're not ready to return to work? Where you may be checking Instagram and just, you know, mindlessly, you know, yeah. looking, <laughs> looking at everything and then it's like end of feed and you know that you've gone down that rabbit hole when there's nothing else to look at. Yeah. And so these are some of the things we're going to be talking about. We're also going to be talking about this kind of concept of tech enabled health. And so like what are different like apps, tools, things that we can use to support us so that we can be plugged in less, so that we feel more organized and so that we can, you know, kind of move out of that like admin role that we find ourselves in as we coordinate with so many people all day long to keep our projects moving. And I think that for your community especially, this is a really important concept because almost all of these folks work in tech and even myself, like I work in tech, I advise tech companies. And these are the people especially who, you know, I, I believe it's really up to us to examine our behavior with it and to look at the ways that we can support one another as we acknowledge that we're going to be using it more, not less. But when we're offline, we really need to be diving into like the types of breaks we take, the types of connections that we're making in person, the conversation, the quality of the conversation, this idea of really powering down for presence, purpose, and passion. Man, you like, I feel like every two senses I want to jump in. There's, <laughs> I feel like we need like four hours or something. Um, but that's why we have the workshop, I guess, tomorrow to, to delve into those things. Um, but it is, it's true. I feel like we, we, we never take real breaks. Our minds are always going if we're on Instagram or we don't like really recharge. And um, I'm so looking forward to this because I feel like, you know, we can all recharge. We all need to recharge. What What's going to happen to us? And we have like a minute and a half here, but... I wonder what we're going to think 20 years down the road about our time now. About like, are we going to be like, what were we doing? Why were our necks down looking at the phones all the time? Um, are we going to, do you think that we'll get over this phase of life? I think that we will be designing tech more around the human. So a lot of the presenting problems we see now, um, you know, with posture, with, with all of that will change. And that's something that we're working on with the collective as well because we have our educators, our people on the ground, and then we have our researchers. So we have the folks who are really um, working with the developers on like what are the evidence-based practices and solutions so that we can create tech that supports the human. And so that really, Matthew, is my hope for the future yeah. as we move into this increasingly kind of digital era that is centered around the human being and what the human being needs. I don't know, I just feel sure like young people, we're, we're gonna we're gonna go against not go against tech, but we're gonna eventually not we because I'm the old one, but we're, <laughs> yeah we're, we're gonna learn eventually, and I feel like the more the younger generations learn like okay this is not good for us. We have to find that balance. And when we zoom out and we take a break from tech, we really see how much tech shreds and pollutes our attention because we live in this attention economy, and so taking back our control over our usage of tech and noticing how we feel. Great, so the, um, the workshop is going to be tomorrow. It's at Next Space. It is six to nine o'clock and information at santacruzworks.org. If you wanna find out more about what Nina is doing, is there like a website or someplace we can go to find out more information? Yes, um, you can visit um, digitalwellnesscollective.com. My personal email is um, nina at digitalwellnesscollective.com. I also hold workshops, all sorts of things. I work with individuals. If you have a certain need that you would like addressed with your tech usage, feel free to reach out. I would love to be in touch. Awesome, cool. Thank you so much. I look forward to the, the event tomorrow. Okay. Well.